Today I'm going to be unboxing the CDS100 Ultrasonic Cleaner by Life Basis. It is the 600 milliliter version which is about 6.3 inch by 3.3 inch by 2 inch capacity in a stainless steel tank. There are a couple of colors available. If you haven't used an ultrasonic cleaner before, you can use solvents if you want, but for the most part you can just use tap water, which is great. It makes it easy to clean a wide variety of items. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up and see what's inside, and then we'll go ahead and try cleaning a few items with it. There is a user manual. It is very easy to use. You pretty much just plug it in, pick what amount of seconds you want the machine to run for, and hit go. The unit itself is very small and light. It is very portable and easy to store. The power cord connects to the unit on the right side at the bottom. It has a nice basket as well as a watch holder. Using the basket will decrease the effectiveness, but at the same time will protect your metal jewelry or items that you want to clean. I think for most cases you will want to use the basket. The inside is very shiny, nice chrome look to it. Uh, there is a maximum fill line in the back to make sure that you don't overfill. The watch stand lets you put a watch with the watch face on the top and the band through the slots so you can wash your watch band without the watch face getting wet or damaged. Turning the unit on, the default is set for 180 seconds, but there are various times that you can cycle through from 90 seconds to 600 seconds. There's only the two buttons, the settings that changes the times, and then the power button that will start or stop the unit. I'm going to fill it up with just water. That's usually all you need to get a good clean. You can add some solvent if you want to, depending on what you're cleaning. I found a few different things, some jewelry, glasses, and my super dirty razor blade. I'm going to clean those and see how well they do. Ducky, not included, also not needed, but it was a nice little bath for him too. Put the items in the basket, put the basket in the machine, set the time, and hit go, and I will spare you the noise that it makes. But you can see the bubbles and the vibrations really working on it. You can see some cloudiness in the top right of all the dirt coming out of it. If you need to, you can clean it for more times until that is not visible anymore but it does look really clean afterwards. And here are some before and after shots. I ran the machine without having the lid on just so that you could see it in action, but when using it, you probably should have the lid on. Due to its compact size, it is very easy to clean. And that's all there is to it. It is very simple to maintain and use. But the real question is, how many dirty goblins can we clean with this thing? So I printed a hoard, just so that I could put as many as I could in there. It is a smaller machine, so you won't be able to clean as many big prints, but the smaller to medium sized creatures should clean just fine. One 16 ounce bottle does happen to be the perfect amount to fill exactly to the max fill line. Note that there are some resins that recommend not being cleaned with an ultrasonic cleaner. So just keep that in mind when you're cleaning. Make sure that you follow the directions for the resins that you have. Some resins also say not to submerge them in the alcohol or liquid for longer than a couple minutes. Just depends on the resin. In most cases, 90 seconds will be plenty. And it looks like we were able to fit 
13 little goblins in there. Some of them are a little too tall and have to be laid down, but they are completely submerged and you can see that it works well for removing the excess resin. I'm also not using the basket because it doesn't really matter if they move around and bump into each other, it's not going to damage them. And while those little dirty goblins are taking a bath, I'd like to take this time to thank you, not just the viewers, but patrons and those who support this channel. If you also would like to support this channel, make sure to check out the links in the description. Thank you so much for your support. I would not be doing these videos without you. I also tried some bigger models with these warg riding goblins. They don't quite fit all the way in and submerge all the way, but that's okay. Even sideways the base kind of sticks out a little bit. That just means that I would have to run it twice. I'll run it once with them standing upright and then again on their side. Overall, the machine works really well. If you're just going to be printing a few smaller models or cleaning jewelry and things like that, this will work just great. If you're wanting to clean larger prints or bigger items, you'll want to check out Life Basis's larger models. I hope this video has been helpful to you and that you're able to find a way to make a use of this portable machine. Until next time, stay clean. This is probably my favorite thing. I love this graphic. The bubbles are just beating the crap out of this dirt. Just punching at him, beating him up, pulling that dirt right off. That's probably the coolest graphic ever. Good job, guys.